Single coverage on the bottom, Mike. Mountaineers, four of 10, third down. Smith. Starts. He's got it. What a great job adjusting to the ball in the air by Brad Starks. Take advantage of your matchups. He was single covered down to the bottom of the screen. He just wants this football a little bit more and attacks the football more than Dwayne Gratz. They were in great position to go up together, but Gratz never jumped for the football. Gratz starts attacked it in the air. They called it a touchdown. I think they're going to take another look at this. But that's just a good job of battling for the football in a position in the end zone where you want it more than the defender. Well, if it stands, it'll be his 10th career touchdown as a Mountaineer, third this year. Covered 22 yards. He clearly had both feet down. All you need is one in college football, but we're looking for possession of the football. He has it there, I think he has and it, it looks like he had it to the ground. Has ruled a touchdown, and they're looking for indisputable video evidence. Here's a real good look, Mike. He's definitely in bounds. Let's take a look. Focus on the football. That was a big-time play. Yeah, big-time catch by Starks in the end zone. That's where you had to go with the football. Man-to-man -man coverage, press coverage. You have to challenge your athlete is going to win if you get it close as a quarterback. And that's exactly what Geno Smith did. Give him an opportunity to go up and get the football and trust your receiver will go attack it in the air. And that's exactly what Starks did. Slow start for Starks this year, too, in Dana Holgerson's first year. It's a touchdown, his 10th career touchdown. So Smith now 22 of 38 for 350 yards as he flirts with another 400-yard game. Yeah, it's just becoming routine. Another day at the office for Geno Smith when he throws for 350, hitting nine different receivers on the afternoon. Starks was the ninth. Bittenkurtz is still perfect in 2011 in the extra point category. And the Mountaineers now seven points away from their average with 33 on the scoreboard. 10-9 halftime score and the big play starting to build up now for Dana Holgerson here in the second half. Well, the offense is starting to click. They're getting the matchups on the outside. We talked about the injury problems to the secondary of UConn and not having Bleedy Ray Wilson out there on the edge. They're a man short and they're playing with a lot of young guys out there forcing man-to-man -man coverage in the, as they close to the, get to the red zone. But that's just a better play going up and challenging and getting the football. 